series number three, part number three for this influencer marketing. We're going to decode the story that we just did. Point number one, what the influence, what the jeweler right did right away. He got the right audience. I've, I've got a list to refer to so I don't forget things. He got the right audience uh, to influence, to make the pitch to. Koi random audience, he knew the right audience and he spent time on it. Number two, he promoted the right event you know, uh, for the one of the influencers. So the influencer was motivated enough, one of them out of the 40, to actually go and promote him. Perfect. He did the right thing to do that. Number three, you know, which is even more important, uh, the peer influencer, the guy whose event was being sponsored, created so much anticipation about the event, even much before the event, for the right reasons, because he was really happy that somebody had done something, his story was something to be told. So he created a kind of hype about the influencer, about the jeweler, with the rest of the influencers. Wow. Number four, once that was done, the Mercedes experience, brilliant. What an experience to make people feel special. I mean, he did that. The jeweler did that, so he got into the Taj Ballroom. What happened after that? Late entry. Amazing. Even more heightened anticipation. The jeweler doesn't walk into the room right away. He takes his time. Everybody settled in, done. And the peer group influencer says, the other influencer says, yeah, yeah, oh, RI. You know, it's heightened anticipation. Brilliant, I think. Brilliant. Really, really well done. Uh, after that, what happens? He got the audience, the jeweler gets the audience on his side uh, by, you know, by, by being simple. He gives a genuine story, you know, genuine story, humble, humility. He kind of doesn't kind of make a big deal about it, but he's really humble about it. What happens after that? You know, he slowly starts to get comfortable and then makes an emotional pitch. He really appeals to people the right way. So people really connect with him. Number seven. I think he then has something done even brilliantly well. He doesn't ask for a reference. He doesn't ask for being connected. The peer group influencer, the influencer whose event is being sponsored does that. What could get better? You have one of your peers who's an influencer asking the other influencers, why don't we help him? Brilliantly done. Number eight, I think the influencer is, all the other influencers are willing to connect to him willingly. Job done. You know what? Number nine, the influencers not only say the job's done, they flock him with cards. Job super well done, is what I think. Point number 10, he does not have his cards with him. Ooh, what a brilliant way to say, you know what? Oh, amazing. He picks up the other's card but doesn't give his own card. Then, the number 11, 12, the cocktail, the music is a great time for him to really bond and connect. He gets that time after the pitch has been made to really kind of solidify his relationship in the two, two and a half hours that he has. He's already got the crowd on his side. Now he starts to build a personal connection. And number 12, the drive back home with the Mercedes, you know, with that window blinds, window whatever shades, with the branded thing, it kind of leaves you a memory and an experience. And you know what, I just talked with this brand and it's all over me, all, over, all it's with me when I'm going back home. Brilliant pitch, master stroke.